Hey, what's going on guys? This is George, your IT guy, and today we are continuing with our server series. This is, I believe, yes it is, episode 3, uh, and today we're going to be going over how to install the DHCP service. Uh, if you don't know what DHCP service is, uh, pretty much what it is, is what hands out the IP addresses to all of the computers in your network and since this is the Active Directory uh, and the DNS server you also want it to be the DHCP server because a lot of that stuff goes hand in hand so without further ado we can go into our server manager go into roles and just like before uh, you click on add roles DHCP server then next next uh, this is the IP address of this server so 77.100 that's right uh, 192.168.77.100 I'm going to validate that that's good we don't need to have put an IPv4 alternate that's fine uh, wins. No, go ahead and skip that. The DHCP scopes. Here I'm going to go ahead and put 192.168.77. Let's see. Um, 100 to. I'm sorry. This is going to be here. Scope name, IP scope, and it will be 192.168.77.200. Uh, so that's going to be it. Our subnet mask is that, and might as well put in our default gateway, which is 192.168.77.1. Okay, so once we're done there, uh, we can go ahead and create this. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and uh, I want this to work, but I'm just going to go ahead and put 10 uh, to 110. Because I have another computer that's 77.10. It's actually my local computer here. Uh, once that's done, click next. I want to disable the IPv6, the DCP v6, because we don't use that yet. Domainy administrator, that's fine, and install because I am logged in as administrator right now. All right, so once this installation is done, I'll go ahead and uh, resume the video. All right, the installation succeeded, and uh, it says the automatic update is not available. Ensure that your newly installed role feature, blah 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 blah. Uh, I know I haven't done all the updates, so whatever, close. Um, seems to be uh, X here it might just be nothing um, probably nothing so I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this um, alright so it seems like we should be good to go so I'm going to go ahead and go to my Windows XP computer or my virtual machine of course and essentially this is going to be represent a client computer uh, or another computer on the network that's just a computer uh, Windows 7 works very similar. You go to start on computer, you right click, you go to properties, computer name, then to rename this computer or to join a domain, click change. We go to change, click on the domain bullet, then here domainia.local is our domain. We try to find it and hopefully if all went well. Um, we do find it. Ah, uh, uh, sometimes it was dot local. It just wants the uh, domainia dot com. There you go. So you notice how sometimes it wants a dot local, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, here I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, this this account, and I'm gonna type in my password, which is the easy password 
pretty much what that wants to do is like okay you want to join the domainia domain but do you have rights to join the domain is a question so pretty much that's authenticating whether you have the administrative rights to join the domain uh, without doing the DHCP um, this can be much more difficult or mu not much more difficult but uh, it would be a, a bigger pain in the butt to go to each computer and change the static IP to the right settings uh, in order for it to be able to connect so now we got this uh, welcome to the domainia domain so that's great okay now we gotta restart the computer for it to take effect now we're gonna go ahead and restart it and I'll resume the video once it does alright I guess uh, that was pretty quick now uh, we have this control alt delete to begin this wasn't here before uh, before I would get a prompt that would prompt me to uh, click on it and now it's just a simple control alt delete sort of thing kinda like I have on my server so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a control delete and uh, notice here it still has the admin which is the actual name of the user that I have but you wanna go to options and here under this computer you wanna change that to the domainia domain and here you wanna go to administrator I'm just gonna go ahead and use this account and once we are able to log in we know that the uh, DHCP server is up and running and the domain name and the active directory is all good yep everything is uh, seems to be in order now so um, that's good that's good um, that's definitely a good thing Now, one of the things I'm actually curious about is whether I can actually ping. Well, I'm sure I can, but because uh, uh, on the local computer, uh, I'm noticing that I have uh, no internet access. I think I'm actually not sure. It's I'm using a bridge since I mentioned earlier. I'm using a bridge connection on the. Uh, on the virtual machines so I'm not sure whether any of this is affecting my local machine but uh, I would think that it is because I go down here it says network internet access then unidentified I'm not sure what that'll do or anything but hopefully didn't mess up anything well if it did I can always just set it back you know whatever but I guess it's pretty much just sort of like a warning of letting you guys know that this could happen where uh, you know you got you got something running uh, on your computer but because of this it won't work no oh, it seems like we're okay um, now some free advertising for Michael Locke yeah it seems like we're okay actually so not a big deal so that's great that's good so the bridging actually works pretty well to our advantage. Uh, you notice that it's taking a little while to log in. That's because the first time you log in to any user on a domain on us on any computer, it's gonna take a while just to load up the um, you know all of the services that it has, all the permissions it has, making sure that all the group policies are updated. Right now of course we don't have any group policies. Uh, but essentially once it, this is done loading and on the desktop, uh, you are on the domain and uh, at that point uh, we can do some other very interesting stuff with the uh, group policy which we'll be talking about in the next episode so let me just pause the video until this uh, desktop loads up alright it looks like it's uh, just entering now so there you go yeah you see now we have our uh, our Windows XP um, set up on the domain one way you can check it is uh, you can go to start my computer then go in under the computer name then again you just simply check the change button and right there you see that you're under the domain.local account and right here it actually has your domain and it tells you you're no longer under the work group you're under the domainia.local so yeah that was uh, pretty much it 
hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave a like on there if you'd like to continue watching my uh, server tutorials be sure to click up there on the subscribe button I'll be posting one uh, a new video very very soon if you've missed my other ones go back and go ahead and check that out um, thank you guys so much for watching this video I'll talk to you later bye bye